Oh, I don't like to say anything scary about it. Uh, there's a lot of unknowns, of course, and a lot of problems that could develop or might develop, and they'll have to be solved. And that's what we're there for. This is our business, to find out if this thing will work for us. Uh, I don't think it'll be uh, probably a whole lot worse than a guy that's making a first test flight on a new airplane. Now, I've never done that, so I don't know. I think everybody feels a little apprehensive uh, when they count down. I don't see how you could help but be a little bit excited. You know, I, I don't like to use the word scary. I, I definitely think you're apprehensive and you're considering what's involved there. You're thinking about it. But you know how to handle it and take care of it and do the job. Well, I always look forward to uh, flying and I look forward to test flying. I haven't been in combat, so I can't say that. And in the same manner, I look forward to the my flight in Gemini 4, and I'm really looking forward to this flight in Apollo. I think that the, the difference people might look at our work as, as a, being perhaps dangerous or risky of sorts, but I think we train in it and work in it so much that and understand it well enough that we don't look at it from this viewpoint. No at least I don't. I'm speaking for myself. There's always a possibility that uh, you can have a catastrophic here, of course, this can happen on any flight. It can happen on the, on the last one as well as the first one. So uh, you just plan as best you can to take care of uh, all of these eventualities. And uh, you get a well-trained crew. And 